so, uh, one of the first songs that I want to talk about is uh, Girls' Generation's Lionheart. Now, Girls' Generation, I mean, again, if you're a longtime fan, this, <laughs> if you go back a year and a half, like, and uh, uh, what song came out, and we were so hyped about it, and we were like, uh, what Mr. Was Mr. Mister? Mr. Mister. Was it yeah. Mr. Mister? And we were just like, holy shit, girl generation. After, right, I got a boy 2013, mm -hmm. Mr. Mister 2014. And like, we, they, like, they, they just, they just really never, mishandled that. They just never, I don't know. They just really mishandled that. <laughs> I kind of lost my train of thought in the middle. Okay, the point is, is that this is a year where four girls generation singles came out. Which is crazy, because they've only had one You're per right. year for the last two years, right? You're right. So they, they had Party, they had Catch Me If You Can, they have... Mm -hmm. Lionheart, and they have uh, um, you think you think right, yeah. um, and of those four songs, I mean, party we talked about in our last episode was like a bad song, but it was it got stuck super in your catchy, head. It got yeah. stuck in your head, right? Super um, duper catchy. And uh, weirdly enough, I think I like this Lionheart song more than you do. Like I, I, I think so. Yeah. Like I actually thought I was actually surprised by the singing ability that I heard in this song. Mm -hmm. I thought the. Um, the music video is really cool, like the Motown kind of look, yeah. that, the outfits that they're all wearing was, yeah. was was pretty cool. Um, way better than the we are we trying to hip hop you think like outfits. Outfit, yeah. Um, like that, I wasn't a big fan of that. Um, but like I thought this matched their style very very well. I, I, I really, love the grief. I really thing, yeah. thought it was really good. Um, and, and I thought this song, like, it, it's not the catchiest of songs, but I think it's just a really nice song, which yeah. um, I'm very surprised to say, honestly. I I pretty much emulate everything that you say. Uh, this song really does fit Girls' Generation's style. Mm -hmm. It's very... Because Girls' Generation always has been kind of like the clean type of group, mm -hmm. right? They're like, oh, wholesome, like, we're kind of cute and wholesome girls girls next door kind of feeling mm -hmm. and this song is pretty much that song mm -hmm. um i i do have to say i know i it sounds like i'm just harping on old things but i do have to say with the leaving of jessica their kind of song choice is a lot diminished a lot more diminished because jessica if a lot of people don't know jessica used to do a lot of the backing vocals or just kind of like the layering. She used to be like the layers for a certain songs. So without her, it's kind of hard to do some songs. Even though like Seon can sing and Sunny can sing, uh, they don't have that same kind of sound that Jessica had, uh, if that makes any sense. But this song was, I, I think it was a very good song, but also as good as it was, it's very, very forgettable. When we kind of came back to this, I was like, all right, um, do you know what the Lionheart sound sounds like? And we're just like... Just it's like, da, something, something, something Lionheart. Something like that. And then we're just like, I just can't remember the rest of the song. That's the only part I know. Yeah. If the song wasn't called Lionheart, then I wouldn't remember how it sounds. But I also think, you know, I think a lot of Girls' Generation songs aren't immediately catches at least in the last four years but i think you had heard them especially in the last four years yeah you had heard them so many times but it the definitely we talk about a lot where like nowadays catchy just equates to let's repeat the name of the song over and over and over right mr mr over and over and over and over right catch me if you can over and whatever um and like i maybe i actually gave it extra points for not necessarily relying on that and and it kind of like i don't know i it's definitely not uh, the catches of all songs, but for some reason I, I did really enjoy it. I, uh, I mean, we were talking about it, I, I didn't feel like it was missing anything because of Jessica, but mm -hmm. I, I don't know as much about Girls' Generation as you do. Yeah. Um, I just thought that they're purposefully made, or they're purposefully picking. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the Jessica thing, mm -hmm. but they're picking totally different songs. Like Party is a totally different type of song than Lionheart, which is a totally different type of song than mm -hmm. you think. Yeah. Um, and, and I was, you know, I put it in my section because I just wanted to bring up that that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool yeah. that we were living in a in a time where there's four girls generation singles. Yeah. There are eight Big Bang singles yeah. and the fucking Wonder Girls came back. Like that that's, is crazy. Yeah. And none of them it? are in our main section. Yeah. <laughs> when, so I feel like K-pop in the past 
maybe a year or two, since the time that Steven and I have been in Korea, mm. it's it's changed a lot. Yeah. Um, not not in terms of like the big names essentially, but I mean in terms of what people like to hear. Mm -hmm. And I, my taste has definitely changed. Uh, same. Every same. year that goes by that I do this podcast, it I, it changes. You know, yeah. unless you're Brave Sound, then you're in my heart forever. <laughs> Brave Sound, to hear that? Yeah. Brave Brothers. <laughs> Sponsor our podcast, Brave Sound. No, no, no. I, really, I really don't think they are. <laughs> so but at the very beginning, apparently. he'll whisper it, it before uh, all our things. Brave Sound. I just want you to know. Yeah. What song is that? Oh, is that Wiggle Wiggle? I think so. I can't I remember how we... I can't, I can't... Wiggle Wiggle. Dun, 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 I think that's what Bingo, bingo. Bingo, bingo. That bingo, is a bingo. fucking fun song to listen to it with bass. It's so fun. Um, but we'll talk more about bass in our after show show. Let's mm -hmm. move on. I just mentioned them, but uh, the Wonder Girls did finally come back. Oh. Uh, Girls' Generation being your bias of all time. Yeah. Wonder Girls being my bias of all time. Uh -huh. And uh, they came out with a new song called I Feel You. Um, and uh, just like Great. you lost Jessica... In your bias, you guys we lost, lost three people, right? We lost two people. Two people, Sun and Sohee. Yeah, Sohee, which... Well, technically you she, lost Hyuna, too. Uh, Hyuna was time. like, no. Hyo, we lost Hyuna a long time ago, though, so I don't really care about that. You know? We lost her at the first bus stop. Like, yeah, uh, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was like, ow. Oh, I can't go anymore. Oh, for a minute? Let's go, you know? <laughs> oh, no. Um, so, yeah, we lost Sohee. We lost Sunye. Um... Sonya, of course, I think being way more impactful than, yeah. than Sohi. She was never the vocal, you know, she yeah. was, she, she be the face. Um, but when the Wonder Girls were coming back, I was so scared. Um, With good reason. Because it's like, oh my gosh, what are they going to do? And then they announced that we're going to do this crazy concept where, where it's a band concept. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? That's Ooh. not great. Um, and then they started releasing teasers of like Sonia playing the bass yeah. and like uh, 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 Yubin was playing the guitar and, and, and uh, uh, the other girl that I never remember, uh, he Hyerim was playing the, 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 the guitar. You're, you're a wonderful... No, I, I don't... I don't, wonderful. I, I don't like Hyerim, okay? <laughs> she she was woman. the one that made some me leave, or she didn't make some me leave, uh -huh. but in my... In my oh, oh, see, there you go. You have some me leaving too. That's three. Yeah, but she came back. Uh... Okay, it doesn't <laughs> matter, okay? All that matters is uh, they released the teasers and I was like, uh? uh <laughs> so I was in America and when I was in America, I didn't, I like, per I, I didn't go to all K-pop, I didn't go to any K-pop sites. I didn't even check uh, the Reddit K-pop. I was like, I'm just gonna push this away from, I wanna just be at home. I just wanna eat a shit ton of food. I just don't wanna worry about K-pop. Yeah. But the Wonder Girls Envy came out, so I was like, I got it. That's, that's how. It. That's what happened. Me and Girls' Generation. Yeah. Just got it. And so I, I watched that with my sister because she was the one who told me that it came out, and I was just like, I don't even know what to. I don't even know, guys. I don't even know. So I don't even know. the thing is, is I just don't like eighty songs. Yeah. I just don't. You you um, you are not the type to like kind of retroy songs. Anyways. Yeah, I, I just don't. Not, I just, not even eighties. I don't think. Just kind of retro songs. You're not too like if if of. I yeah I, I'm not really good with dated sounding things. Mm -hmm. So like uh, even movies like mm -hmm. like I know The Godfather is one of the best movies of all time. I just can't watch it because it's just too old. Uh, it sounds bad, and you might hate me for that, but that's just how it is. I hate you. Um, but that, that's a totally different thing. Like, I could probably get over that, but I just don't like 80s sounding music. Mm. And while I think I Feel You is not a bad song, like, I, it, it's it's not awful. Um, it's got a little bit of catchiness. It's got the bum, 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 you know. But, like, the entire time I'm just picturing just 80s stuff, and it's it's, like, not catchy. It's just so, like... Mm. Like, for example, this is a little out of left field, but there's a video game called Hotline Miami. Um, oh, yeah. And it has an amazing kind of, like, 80s-inspired hit uh, yeah, soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. But it's, like, updated to the new generation. Yeah. The, the new generation. It's got like, new generation stink yeah. on it. Yeah. And, like, this is just pure 80s. Um, mm -hmm. And I just wasn't quite down with that. And, you know, but, but I was like, okay, it's just it's just the lead single. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever, let's check out the album. Um, 
Then I realized the entire album whole is album. 80s. The whole album. The entire perfect. one. And I just, I, I, I appreciate and I'm like good on you guys for doing this and committing to this and like making it so you don't sound like any other group. Like Fair. that's amazing. That's awesome. Fair. Fair. Um, you get so many props. But you can't really that buy doesn't anything make your with props. music good. <laughs> you yeah. can't really buy anything with props. It doesn't make the music great. Um, if this wasn't the Wonder Girls, nobody would like this. Okay, I don't want to say nobody. Nobody. There are people but like There would be a small amount. It would be like a 20,000 viewed video if this wasn't the Wonder Girls. Yeah. But because it's the Wonder Girls, a lot of people are like, oh shit, man, I love these 80s stuff. And, and, and I just don't. Okay, I don't want to say they're wrong because everybody likes what they like. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I think the majority of the people that are saying that they like 80s stuff, um, two, two weeks ago, they weren't listening to 80s music, right? Mm -hmm. They weren't listening. They probably weren't even born in the 80s. They were probably born in the 2000s, okay? okay. Maybe they um, appreciate 80s music, but yeah. they're not. They weren't bumping it before this came out, right? They're not avidly listening to 80s music. Yeah. Um, and you know, we're not quite old enough, you know, I'm, I was born in the eighties, but Same. I grew up in the nineties. So I'm a nineties kid. Right. Yeah. So it, I, I'm actually kind of interested. I want to know, uh, cause we do have some listeners that are older, right. Yeah. That probably grew up in the eighties. Like, are you like, holy shit, this is so eighties and I love it. Or is it like, oh, this sounds it's like, nothing like my childhood. Yeah. You know? Or it's like, if I wanted to listen to eighties, I would have listened to the good eighties songs that we've heard. Right. Mm. Um, so, I mean, I don't, I, I think they look amazing though in the music video. Mm -hmm. I think like, holy mo, like I love the Wonder Girls, but. Smoking I, hot. It was, ne I was never like, like I always thought Sami was cute and I always thought Yubin was cute, but I, I wasn't like, it wasn't like Sohyun cute, mm -hmm. right? It wasn't like whole baby, you know? It's not like, oh my God, AOA. Yeah, it's not like AOA, right? Yeah. Um, but like after seeing them like in this music video, it's like, holy moly, yeah. pee pee calm down, you know? <laughs> pee pee calm um, down. And so they got, so like, I give them all these props for what they chose to do. Mm. I just didn't like the music. It's just the music didn't really speak to you. I can understand uh, what you mean. For me, I've never really been a huge Wonders, Wonder Girls fan, uh, but I did appreciate a lot of the music. Like, I, a lot of the music they released, like, you know, Nobody Was Good. Mm -hmm. um, like, This Was Really Good. Mm -hmm. Some of the old stuff was a Tell tiny. Me. Yeah, Tell so Me hot. Was Really Good. So Hot. Um, maybe like the bigger ones I really liked, but this song, um, it's not bad, but it's not especially good. Maybe it's, um, our tastes are kind of evolving. Mm -hmm. Uh, I feel like Wonder Girls and Girls' Generation especially, uh, are kind of a part of more of an era where fans really liked the group and that's why they supported their music. Um, uh, not... It's, and the music was catchy enough to get by, but the real reason why their fandoms are so large is because they legitimately liked the members of the group, mm -hmm. or kind of like their image, or like concept, you know? But nowadays, um... I don't know, I think I actually think the complete opposite. Yeah? What do you mean? Like, I think nowadays, it's all about, I like this group, and I don't give a shit what song Diary is out of their mouth, I'm gonna support them. Now is way more than before. Like, I think mm -hmm. before, you had to have good music, or or you were not, like, like you had to release hit after hit after hit, um, and if you didn't release a hit, then it, it wasn't a hit. But I... The, but, re the reason why I argue that they're less of that type now is because there's just so many groups now, and if you're not putting out a song that's really good, you're not really gonna... gonna but I think there are so many groups in the next year after that, that have released subpar songs for a long time and people are still eating up with a spoon. Hmm. Like, like that beast, that new beast song. Or like, um... What, but I mean, Girls' Generation is like winning shit tons of awards on music shows. Well, of course, it's Lionheart. fan, it's, I mean, it's fan. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because like, Girls' Generation and Wonder Girls, like, they had that kind of whatever they... Okay, I, I okay, I guess I was, I guess I, 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 I I think if anything, it's the same as it always was. I don't mm -hmm. think it's any, it wasn't it wasn't any different might, before or yeah. different now. I think once once you're a fan of Girls Generation, once you're a fan of mm -hmm. EXO, or once you're a fan of AOA, like mm -hmm. you'll do everything in your power to make, make them whatever successful. that yeah make that yeah. regardless. Um, 
Uh, and that's, yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. That's always been kind of K-pop. But the reason why I mention that is because even though there's so many new groups that are kind of forming out. and coming out, like girls like, or uh, groups like Wonder Girls and, and Girls Generation, they can come out and their fans are still there to be like, mm. we support you. True. You know? True. Yeah, like I, I was really surprised when I saw that the Wonder Girls song had like nine million views. Yeah, I was like, that's a lot like, of views. I was like, I know Wonder Girls were popular, but like when the Wonder Girls were popular, there was only a fraction of the the K-pop audience mm -hmm. there, right? The yeah. international audience, and like I get, I it always surprises me when like a, a person that just started maybe with like EXO or just started mm -hmm. with this new tier, like like. They they've heard of Wonder Girls and they've heard mm -hmm. those songs and I'm I, I guess it really surprises me how uh, uh, I guess how many fans there are of the yeah. Wonder Girls. Yeah. Um, and I mean the same with Girls Generation. Even though Girls Generation was a really huge group in Korea. Yeah. And also the world. Sure. But um, it's it's really shocking to me that like the fandom is still so gung ho mm -hmm. about it. especially since the fandom are I guess kind of like my age or even older yeah. than me um, who may or may not necessarily like K-pop anymore yeah so I'm really curious as to where their fans are because usually when you think about K-pop fandom you're thinking like teenagers sure sure and like for teenagers to like girls generation wonder girls it is really really interesting mm -hmm. why mm -hmm. that's the case yeah, but that's an, an but I guess it's true because like everybody knows like uh, we grew up with Backstreet Boys and NSYNC, yeah. but I feel like even people ten years younger than us mm -hmm. still have heard those songs. Mm -hmm. Maybe they heard their older sister playing that song mm -hmm. later on in life. Maybe they heard their parents play that song. I don't know. Yeah, but, um, I guess yeah. Um, if we remember, I have this weird story about the Wonder Girls and and SNSD, but we can talk about it in the after show. All right. Um, but uh, let's move on to the kind of quote unquote middle of our podcast yeah. where we usually thank all the listeners and all the watchers um, for listening and watching us. So we want to thank chingus. you guys, yeah. uh, our chingus. And the first way we do that is uh, by thanking the people that leave us iTunes reviews. Um, of course, we didn't release an episode in the last uh, forever uh, uh, five weeks, but we got one person, uh, Woovy6. Who says, I really enjoy listening to this podcast. It is very informative and has a lot of music that they cover. I like how they are not biased and over all groups. I feel like I wrote that wrong. Uh, even if they are not big fans of the songs. My only complaint is that one of the guys speaks very softly. So I turn the volume up and then the other guy starts speaking and bam, very loud. I think I'm the soft guy. I think I I'm the soft guy. Is, I wonder who is the um, soft guy, Steven. Yeah, so I included that because if you're not watching us on the brand new mu uh, video version of this podcast, mm -hmm. um, we both have separate mics now. Um, and so hopefully I, when I mix them and edit it together, we can be more even. Um, we're yeah. still kind of working out some kinks. It's a little, it's, it's still a little weird. A little bit awkward, yeah. Um, cause our voices, uh, the mics are so close that they do bleed a little bit. We need yeah. to play with the settings. Um, but this is a good time to mention that, uh, the video version will be, uh, uh, better. Uh, we mm -hmm. have a much, much better camera. We are yeah. sitting in a much more uh, open and comfortable, I think, uh, yeah. environment. And uh, I um, am going to be editing it all together as opposed to in the past, we had this like all in one system that would mm -hmm. do it all for us at once. And we, I didn't have much control over it. Um, so now we're going to be splitting the video version of the podcast into three separate videos. Yep. So you're not scared when it says it's a two hour Our long video. video. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, if you haven't heard us already mention it, the first video, of course, is our picks of the week yeah. or picks of the episode. The second video is where this is, where uh, I'm talking about the songs that I kind of pick. Mm -hmm. And the third one will be will be Josh's. And, of course, the reminder that there will be an after show show, which yeah. will come out a week after this episode, uh, where it kind of fills in the, the blank week yeah. that we normally have. Yeah. So we hope you like it. it honestly, it took us... Probably an hour just to set up this per, because well, yeah. actually we, we 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 tried something else. It didn't we, we work. We tried at all. we tried a few things. We, yeah. we tried a lot of things. Uh, even this, I'm not entirely satisfied by, but um, we we're we're gonna put in a lot of work. 
yeah. editing it editing it also so I, I hope you guys enjoy the uh, final thing yeah. um, but uh, leaving us a review on iTunes is one of the best ways to help us uh, and of course uh, checking out our sponsors Audible and Drama Fever also really really helps us yeah. too um, uh, yeah moving on yeah okay uh, so, uh, after kind of the two, you know, the big, big, big names, we have uh, a ballad. Who would think that I would put a ballad in my section? Well, it's a ballad with a beat. That's all I know. It is a ballad with a beat. And that is by uh, uh, Senor Yu Sung Woo, featuring Geeks Louie, with uh, their song, You're Beautiful. I think... Uh... Yusung, isn't he uh, the guitar player? Yes, he yeah. was a very, very young guitar player. Yeah. Um, and uh, he's gotten sexier and he's grown up a lot in the oh, last yeah? like two years. Oh yeah, good um, on you. And uh, he's in this music video with I think two other idols. Mm -hmm. um, but you know the music video is, is kind of cool. It's like a mini movie. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, uh, it's it's about. I don't want to... There's a twist. It's a pretty yeah, it, there's a basic little bit of a twist. Story. There's a little bit of a story, but still, it's not something that you should reveal. Yeah, I don't want to reveal mm -hmm. what happens, but, you know, it, it's still cool. It's, it's better than just a generic, uh, a generic boring video. Yeah. Um, but I, I do just... I just want to talk about the song. Like, it's mm -hmm. it's everything that I like in, in a ballad with a beat. Yeah. Um, his voice is amazing. Yeah. Uh, I think the, the, the backing track is really good. It's, it's got well a produced. Beat. It's, it's very well produced, produced I think. Um, I think Geeks, uh, 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 the Louis part is a little unnecessary. It, it's because I think um, Geeks, I think Louis has a specific kind of rapping style uh -huh. that doesn't really fit with most songs. So Yeah, and I thought his voice didn't really fit exactly with this type of song because it's a ballad yeah. with the beat. It didn't really need a rap in it. Um, but I don't think it detracted. Like I wasn't like it wasn't like oh I god I can't I have to skip this part yeah. because it's so bad. Like it's you can listen to it without any sort of like. Mm you know, bad feelings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and I think uh, Yu Song Wu's, his voice makes up for it a Ten thousandfold. Yeah. billion times yeah. over. Yeah. Um, and, and so, you know, if you like ballads, yeah, I know there's a, a lot of people that do. You yeah. know, this is not a, not a drama ballad. Okay? Yeah, it's this, not, it's not going to make you cry. It's not yeah. going to be like, uh, my like, ex-girlfriend. This is my type. This is ballad with a fucking beat. Yeah. And I really, I, you know, if you're listening to the audio version, you heard a preview of it. But uh, check out, uh, check it out if, if it sounds interesting yeah. at all. Yeah. Um, uh, the last song in my section is by G Friend, aka Girls Generation, but not Girls Generation, early Girls Generation. Yeah. Um, with their new song, although it's pretty old by now. Yeah. Uh, Me gustas tú. Me gustas tú. Uh, I don't know why they went uh, Spanish. Spanish, but. Um, hey, all right. G Friend, of course, debuted with Anal Bead, aka Glass, Glass Bead. Bead. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which was an amazing I song. I really like that song. <laughs> it's a good I song, mean, man. Like, it is a blatant, like, throwback to Into the New World Girls Generation. Everybody yeah. knows that. But, you know, I, I like them because they looked like that era where yeah. it, it wasn't like a shit ton of makeup, it wasn't like crazy hairstyles. It was They're like. supposed to be fresh. Fresh, right? Yeah. You know? Um, and a lot of girl groups, I think, try that, and I just didn't think it was as successful as as as, as Anal B was. Um, as Anal B was. <laughs> and, uh, glass bead. Yeah, glass, glass bead. Sorry. Uh, glass bead. Now, Me Gustas 2, I, I don't think the song is as good as uh, Glass Bead, but no, I, I, I still really, really enjoyed this type of song. I think if you kind of have a kind of predisposition to like, a kind of, uh, a kind uh, of... What's innocent? I guess you would say innocent type songs. Uh, uh, the, the thing is, I normally I don't. I normally don't mm. like super cutesy, like a um, uh, 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 girl group kind of things. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know why I, I've I maybe my taste has changed because maybe. I did like Sonamu, yeah. not Sonamu. That's not, not Sonamu, the one no, I like. No, 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 no. That's it's, not Sonamu. Uh, What's Candy Jelly Love? Lovely. Lovelies. 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 With a Z. With a Z. Um, I just could not stand that song. Um, yeah. But for some reason I enjoyed it, so maybe my tastes have changed. But uh, I just really like G Friend's choreography. It's like the throwback to fucking arms for days. <laughs> arms fairly. Like, it's, it's like, not necessarily technically, like, very difficult. There's no black backflips no. or, like, right. handstands or anything. But... 
It's a lot of movement. Yeah, they're always moving. Movement. It's a yeah. fuck ton of movement. And like yeah. even at the end of the music video, you see them like, you know, there's always like the freeze frame, right? Where they all make the pose at the very yeah. end. And like four of the girls are like, <laughs> <laughs> and like I'm like yeah like, it's like damn girls you guys get are after moving it, it man get after it, girls. Um, and you know I don't want to say it's it, it it's like uh, uh, technically hard right it's not yeah. like when we watch like I'm trying to think like the arc do their like that BTS uh, oh, style, uh, thing yeah. right? like that's technically a lot harder mm -hmm. right um, but like they're just swinging and moving and hopping kicking and their, jumping. Kicking their feet and yeah. bending their knees. And yeah. And I'm like, they're not just sticking their butts. They're just going to kind of make... Because, like, a lot of other girl groups, the catchy dances are usually very isolated dances, right? Yeah. We're isolating the, uh, the chest breasts, thing. Right? We're isolating the butt thing. We're isolating whatever we're pointing, thing. Pointing at a coochie cooch. Yeah. Pointing at a coochie. Pointing at the cooch. Pointing at the cooch. Point the cooch. Coochie point. The cooch point. Point at the cooch. <laughs> um... But, you know, I just, I think I just like, it's just so different than what we're normally used yeah. to that I'm just like, gee, friend, keep doing your and, thing. And though. you guys, you guys might be like, oh, Steven and Josh, just be, it, the only reason you like it is because it's not mainstream and you're being hipsters and whatnot, and whatnot. Uh, don't think of it that way. It's when you hear uh, one type of music for a really, really long time. Um, and you get tired of it a little bit. It's it's nice to be able to hear something that is new to you, mm -hmm. right? Like, you know, if you if you listen to like rock your whole life, right, and you just all of a sudden stumble on a jazz song that just really gets at you, but everyone else is like jazz, oh whatever. But to you, that song is really good, and this song is pretty good. Um, I think. It is a little bit boosted by the fact that so no one, different. no one else is really doing it at this time. I mean, I think there are like a handful of groups I can't even remember their names uh, trying to do trying it. Trying to do it, um, but they're not doing it as well as G Friend is doing it. That's yeah. the way I want to say. Yeah, like I, I, I think what you're also trying to say, like it's not just the genre. It's not just yeah. like they're they're not even trying hard, and it's just yeah, that yeah, yeah. they're lucky and they they're doing something different. Like yeah. they're going at it. Yeah. Um, I will say they're wearing a lot more makeup in this this music video compared to anal bead lot, yeah. and like it it's you know apropos because it it it's like our middle school students wearing makeup where yeah. it's like way too caked on and way too obvious but yeah. i think that was on purpose I, i'm assuming Maybe, that was on yeah. purpose usually um, usually in music videos you you have to wear a shit ton of makeup yeah. even like but it's not like guys too. blatant uh rosy cheeks you know mm -hmm. kind of kind of makeup that they're they're doing in this yeah um it, it's not very uh the makeup is very kind of uh, neutral. It's they're not trying to like do a theme with sure. their makeup, you know. Yeah. Uh, other than here's a lot on your face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's mine. Uh, I, I I try to put some you know put some a ballad in there. Mm -hmm. I put some Magustas two in there. Talk about yeah. the girls' generation, one of girls. Uh, so now it comes to Josh. Did you go? Fuck, okay. What's up, my chingos? Uh, thanks for watching my part of the podcast. Click over here to see the next part, part number three, for Josh's picks. Probably not as good as mine. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, tell us if you like this new format. All right? See you guys next time in the next part. Go there.